Okay, so what is up, everybody on YouTube? This is once again Two's Gaming HD, and we're back in Farm Simulator 2017 right here, as you probably already know this. So I'm sitting in my Gen Theater, and uh, we should probably go ahead and uh, trash this big field number 22 right here, as you can see. Um, and I'm sitting in one of my uh, my harvesters right there, and I'm ready to go ahead. You can see that. Uh, the vision on this in this harvester is actually a little bit blurred out. That's because of the tints that we actually have on the windows on this. So it is actually like tinted outside. I don't know if you guys actually make kind of like recognize that when I uh, showcase this, but it have tints on, and I think it's actually looking like real good from the outside. But from the inside, it looks a little bit like special and uh, different, I guess. But we're gonna go ahead and hire workers to do this job. I'm just gonna go out and show you guys the tint that is on the windows of this harvester. How do I jump? Just like that, right? I couldn't jump on the header. I just want to do that. Yeah. So you can see the tints that we actually have on and this. What the fuck? I just kind of want to jump over. You can see the tints right there. That was what I wanted to show you guys. And uh, I think it's actually looking like real good, of course, on this uh, harvester right here because the harvester is in itself actually looking like real evil but let's get inside and let's go ahead and hire a worker to do this job that would be pretty cool and um, then we're gonna go ahead and, and turn on the next one like that and then we have oh my god I have to go with the class Xivion 4000 because that is neat that actually need to be emptied Let's change over to the classic Sirion. Yeah, like that. But it's not gonna be emptied like right now. We still have like 10,000 of capacity in this wagon. So uh, we are of course gonna go ahead and use that capacity. And um, then it's gonna be filled up like very soon, I guess. But we're gonna go down. You can see there is a big hole in the back of this wagon. So that hole we need to actually fill up. And um, that is what we're doing right now, guys. I guess I'm just gonna drive like straight over right here to get the harvester that is over at this side because, um, yeah, we're gonna try to actually pull this out and this around right here. So, uh, yep, let's see if you can do that. Dun, 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 dun. Just like this. And then we're going to see that if this one can actually fill up the wagon. So the reason why I'm taking this is of course that the harvesters always have the pipes on the left side of their combines or the machine. And um, yeah, so that's why I'm actually doing it over here because I don't want to drive on the crops like all the time. But let's see how many liters this actually have in the green tank. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't think that it is actually enough to fill us up. We're at 97 thousand liters, yeah. So uh, it wasn't not, it was not enough to actually fill us like 100% up right there. But then we're just gonna go ahead and take the new one or the next one. And now I have to drive on the crops with the tractor right here. Uh, but I guess that's just how it is at the moment. I hope that this is Hilbert D that I'm saying right now because he has a um, nearly full grain sack on grain tank on 80%. So let's see if we can actually take this one and let's see if we can get that one emptied. Yeah, 100k right there. That's a big load we have on it right now. Let's see if we can find the best place to sell this. Oh, all wheel steering. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's go in here. Let's check the prices. Soybeans, soybeans, soybeans. US grains, that is the best paying place. Where is the US grains? Oh my god. So the US grains is all the way down in the other side of uh, the map. 
So that is going to be a real long go down there. I hope that it is okay with you guys. But I'm just gonna drive like straight down the road right here. Well, not the road, but the field of course. And then we have to get out on the road so that we can drive down to the place where I'm gonna sell this. Which is pretty long and pretty far away, I guess. So that is basically what we're doing right now. Ooh. And you can see that we're going like full trial all this way. The 71 kilometers per hour basically. So uh, that's a real good speed, I guess. Real good speed. So uh, yep. Yeah. Let's go down here. Let's turn left right now, I guess. Oh my god. This way. Oh. I can definitely feel that we have a big load on the back of this. Oh, what went wrong right there? That was not, uh, that was not kind of good. Don't know what actually kind of like went wrong, but uh, something actually went wrong. But I think we're all good again right now, so uh, yeah, just full throttle down the road, okay? And then I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take for us to get down there in the bottom of the map. I don't think it's actually gonna take that long with this speed on on the tractor right here. It's a pretty good speed. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, yeah. Uh, just gonna go like straight ahead. I think that we might be able to get down on this little road right here. Uh, whoop. Yeah, this is a little road and uh oh my god. Yeah. Let's just can I get in on it? Yeah, just like that. Toggle cruise control of course. So now we're just gonna go like straight down right here on the little rope. Let's take a view inside. Oh, you can definitely see that this is a tight road. It's not made for big wagons like this, definitely not. Just hitting everything that I'm actually getting up on the side on. Let's see the map. Yeah. Oh, pushing like straight away right there. Oh, what do we have here? Another selling point. Whoa, but we're just gonna kind of get straight through that. And now I um, now I have some trouble right here. Jesus, maybe I should be able to get around with this right like this, I guess. Surely hope so. Let's pull it through. Let's pull it through. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Now we have some trouble. Like uh, for real. Jesus Christ. This is just too much, guys. This is too much. Just gonna see if I can pull it through right there. Just gonna go a little bit closer. I got it through. Yeah. Damn. That's that's good. And um, then we're gonna go drive uh, this way right here. Ooh, this is a big truck and a big track to actually get around with, I guess. So you definitely have to be patient when you're driving with this because you have to be aware of different kind of stuff. Like that, for example, I don't know what actually went, went wrong when I kind of have to go over that. Uh, and those railways right there, railroads, railways, uh, something is just kind of messing up with the wagon but uh, yeah and here we have the trouble like a, another truck that actually kind of went on the side I guess so um, let's just kind of like drive all this down there right now Whoop. And uh, you can see that we're just gonna go like straight ahead right there, full throttle. Just like this, as you can see. 
And as I told you guys before I actually drove down here, it is a pretty long way. So maybe we should actually have taken a look on the other one that pays a good price. Like this one, UAG and General Store actually also pays a pretty good price. UAG, where's that? UAG is right there in the middle actually, like there. And um, US Stores. Uh, uh, what was it? General Store. General store, general store is down here, but I'm just I'm I'm actually so far away that I can just go down there right now, like all the way down there I guess, uh, because it doesn't really matter if I go down there right now. I'm already over halfway down there, of course. So we gotta go down to the U.S. grains, of course. The full throttle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, this is definitely the last time I go that this far to just kind of like sell something. But I guess that we're gonna get a pretty good price on this load, like three hundred thousand or something. And uh, I guess for me, that's that's a good price at least. So uh, yeah. Let's pull down there. Oh my god, these roads is just so long. And just straight out in this map right here. Just straight out as you can see. So uh, yeah, that's definitely something that you have to think about when you start the game up in this map. It's gonna be a long, long, long time to actually go ahead and drive around on this map. I uh, just have to tell you guys that, of course have to get over another railroad railroad I don't know why it's already kind of like have trouble on getting over that and uh, that's pretty strange but now we're gonna get down to the US grains down here and then we're gonna see how much that we're gonna earn on this basically that would be pretty cool Go in here, of course, like this. And uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and sell it right here. This is the best paying place at the moment. So let's go ahead and sell, unload. Let's see how much money that we're gonna get out of this load. That is definitely going to be like uh, real good to see. Yeah, right there, 300,144, 300,000, 301,244 dollars, basically, that's, uh, that's a good price, that's a good price, guys, like, real good, real good, I guess. So, uh, I'm probably gonna end this video right now, uh, and I hope it is, of course, uh, okay with you guys. And uh, then we're probably going to see you guys in the next video, of course. So um, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that. And post a comment down below if there is anything that I should actually know or anything that I should do different. Stuff like that. And then we're going to see you guys in the next video, of course. So yeah. Bye.